Hey everyone, so I'm playing with LEDs again today. I think I've got a much better solution than I had with the last video. If you might recall, I had the LEDs mounted on wood and I was finding they were getting so hot that the adhesive was letting go and I tried some hot glue, that didn't work. Uh, I now have them taped, that's, that's not good. And I'm like, okay, I need some way to dissipate the heat. And so I was walking through the home center, I looked at the eaves troughs, I looked at angle iron, I looked at aluminum trim, all kinds of stuff. And what I ended up settling on was the metal studs. Um, this was like $5 for a 10 foot piece, which is, uh, it's about as cheap as you can get. And uh, obviously if I could find some scrap somewhere in a dumpster, I would have taken that instead. Um, I bought a 10 foot stud and then I cut it down to eight and a half feet long, roughly. So here's the end result. I took the LED strips and I stuck them down to, this, to the back of the stud and I'll show you how I did that. Now I have no idea if this is necessary but I'm hitting this with the random orbit sander to take the polish off the metal because I want to make sure I get good adhesion of the adhesive on the back. These LEDs have a wire at both ends, but that means I have to unwrap the whole thing in order to get the wire for starting the second strand, second part of the strand. Here I'm keeping it close and tight to the edges because I need to have room in the middle to put in a screw for mounting it to the ceiling. Something just a little bit wider in terms of a stud might have been better, but I like this particular one because it does not have these great big holes in it. Here at the end I soldered the wires together and I hooked them up to a old cable that I clipped out of a surplus PC so that this can plug in nicely to the power supply and then unplug again when I need to move it. These are warm but they are by no means burning hot which is what the ones were that I mounted to wood. The glue has shown no indication of letting go and the heat, you can actually feel the heat moving through the whole stud which is dissipating it which is what I was hoping for. I got a few suggestions to try using a PC power supply and I've done so. I've been running it for a couple of weeks now with the one test strip and it's working great. The nice thing is is that these are basically free. Um, people upgrade PCs all the time and they usually upgrade the power supply. This one is 400 watts so it's got a lot of juice in it. The negative is you have to deal with the rat's nest of cables and and connectors. Now I mean if you're going to be soldering anyways presumably you don't have any trouble with soldering and redoing connectors. So among the rat's nest there is one green wire and you connect that one to a black and then the power supply will always stay on when the switch is clicked. Um, otherwise what we care about is the black and the yellow. The black is the ground, the yellow provides 12 volts. Everything else doesn't matter. So now this needs to be mounted to the ceiling because that's where the lights are and as I was trying to figure out how I was going to do that because like there's a fan in the bottom, how am I going to put it on a shelf, what am I going to build? I noticed one of these magnets that I have mounted to one of my tools across the room. Now these are magnets from hard drives. I have a bunch of these. They're really handy. And in this situation, I mounted a couple magnets just up here to a board. That's not going anywhere. And yet I can still pull it down, give it a little twist. If it's not strong enough, I could add a third one. Quick and easy.